What's up guys, Chris Lee back with another United Destiny Entertainment tutorial video. Hey, check this out. If you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to get more videos like this in the future. All right, what's up guys, Chris Lee back with another video. Yes, I am still under the weather. I've been sick for a couple weeks, guys. I've been really trying to get some things done. You guys know I've been having some issues with Mac minis um, and Apple and it's just been crazy. I ended up uh, ordering a new one it still isn't here yet for whatever reason but i do still have uh the one that i purchased so this is going to be my second replacement uh in a couple weeks and that kind of sucks but i'm making it work i am doing a tutorial right now uh with the mac mini m1 m1 mac mini and then i'm also utilizing my new canon um m6 mark ii camera and it's a beautiful camera i I absolutely love it guys if you're interested i'll have links in the description box to both of these products if you guys are interested but enough with all that guys what i'm going to be doing in this video quickly is showing you guys how to use ground control cube and guys i tell you right now it is super powerful if you guys want to know how to go ahead and record your sound from your usb microphone your desktop audio in your DAW or your recording program to go ahead and do whatever tutorials you may need to do or you may want to do some OBS stuff. Guys, I'm going to show you how to utilize this and I'm going to try to do it real quick. Guys, it's a really quick, fast process. Just watch the video, follow my steps and everything will work out perfectly. Let's go ahead and jump into it right now. As you can see, this is the Ground Control Cube. I absolutely love it. Guys, this app is absolutely free for you guys to utilize. No more having to get like Soundflower and try to set up all these different channels to try to be able to record your system audio and your, your desktop audio and your microphones and your OBS and all this type of stuff. No more crazy routing and stuff. This is by far the easiest process and I absolutely love it. It's pretty simple. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to do it right now. So the first thing that you guys want to do is open up your internet and you want to type in gingeraudio.com. Once you type in gingeraudio.com, guys, go down to the bottom, all the way down, scroll down, and down here, you just want to put your email in, and once you put your email in, they're basically going to send it to you. If you want the updates and all offers and all that other stuff, go ahead and check the box, but if not, go ahead and hit download. They're going to send it to your email. You're going to be good to go. Once you get it in your email, guys, go ahead and run the setup, and after you run the setup, what I recommend that you guys do is restart your computer, okay? Restart your computer, all right? You want to go to your system preferences, and I recommend that you go to security and privacy. This is going to be key, guys. It's going to be very important. Once you go to security and privacy, you want to go down to your microphone. And when you go down to your microphone, you want to make sure that all these are checked. Logic Pro, Ground Control, Cube, and OBS. If you're going to be utilizing OBS. If you don't have OBS, go ahead and download OBS. If you don't know what it is, uh, it's a great app that allows you to go ahead and screen, uh, record whatever you're doing on your desktop. So if you're doing tutorials or working on something or whatever the case may be, it also allows you to record yourself. It's great for streaming, a lot of good things like that. So guys, if you're interested more in it, then look up some tutorials or go look at some of my videos videos okay anyways what you want to do in the process is you want to click this little lock right here and you want to click it and it's going to act for your password if it doesn't allow you to check those make sure that you click this unlock it put your password in and then make sure that all these are checked once all these are checked then you should be good to go and be able to utilize all of them okay it's more of a security thing uh, letting Apple know saying that hey we trust this program this software that we just installed and we want to utilize it okay so the next thing that you're going to want to do at this point is you want to go ahead and go to your system preferences again okay just make sure that your system preferences is open if you don't have this particular app then I definitely recommend that you reinstall it again if it's not on your computer but it should be in your applications folder it should be ground control cube but what you want to do is you want to go down to your sound and when you go to your sound you want to make sure that your input says ground control to channel okay and you also want to make sure that the output says the same thing ground control to channel okay you want to make sure that it says that then you open up this app when you open up this app you double click it 
you want to make sure that the input says ground control two channel input one and two okay the next thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that the output is going through your audio interface whatever your audio interface is i'm using a behringer for the purposes of this video and that's why it says usb audio kodak front left and right okay make sure that it says that for the output you just click this output right here and that'll let you know these are just some of the controls on there if you want to utilize that. The mono, the mute, the dim, all that stuff. I don't recommend you touching any of that because you don't have to. Now, if you have OBS, this is going to be very important. I'm assuming that you guys know how to set up your webcam or your computer or your, um, or, or your camera or your iPhone or whatever the case may be. If you guys don't know how to do that, then I also have tutorials on my channel for that. Or just look up how to set up your camera in OBS okay, or your webcam. So what I did in the process is if you're going to be utilizing a USB microphone, this is a five fine microphone. I definitely recommend that you guys utilize it. It's like 50 bucks and guys, it sounds great. Uh, I don't know if the audio sounds perfect right now, but this is a great microphone to utilize. If you're interested, I'll have the links in the description box as well. But what I did was I went to settings. And when you go to settings, you just want to go down to the audio tab and on the audio tab for mic auxiliary audio, you just want to select this as your audio or, or your mic source. Mine just happens to be this USB five fine. So mine is this PNP audio device. You select that here by clicking this here and you just go ahead and hit OK. The next thing is going to be very important. As you can see, the microphone is already set up down here. If you don't have any desktop audio or anything set up, you want to go ahead and hit this plus button or you can right click it and you want to go to audio input capture. OK, once you do that, you just type it in like, you know, main mic or something like that and you hit enter. Once you do that, you go ahead and choose. Um, whichever your your microphone source that you're going to be utilizing. So if you're going to be utilizing the USB microphone, then you want to make sure that that's selected for like your mic input or your your auxiliary input. OK, but here's going to be the very important thing. Check this out. So if I go ahead and delete this, that's just if you need to go ahead and set it up for your your microphone. OK. Now, let's go ahead and discard this and hopefully nothing else deletes. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and set up one like for your desktop audio or you can just set it up as DAW. So if I go here to DAW and I click the little gear here and I go to properties, if you notice what I have selected is ground control two channel. OK, that's what you want because your sound is going through that app. Everything is being passed through that app. So you want everything from OBS, your sound computer. Your sound coming from your computer, from your audio or your DAW, recording DAW, you want it all going through your ground control, okay? So that's what we would do. So you would hit this plus button here. You would go You would go to audio input capture and you would just put like DAW or desktop audio or whatever. I'm going to just put DAW too so I know to delete that. And I go ahead and I hit enter, okay? Now let me move this out of you guys' way. And after that, you would just pretty much go to ground control uh, two channel and you would hit OK. And once you do that, <clears throat> I don't need it because I already have one. Hit remove. And are you sure? Yes. So I don't need it because I already have one. OK, so now in the process, if I wanted to go ahead and go to a YouTube video, which I will right now, it's going to type in YouTube real quick. And I'm going to try to pull up something from my channel because I don't want to run into any copyright issues or anything like that. We will just go to um, just any any one of my videos. OK, 80 percent of music production goes all the way to final mix. But if you have no idea what's happening on the last 10 percent. So you guys remember that dope free DAW recording software that I was telling you about that you can get free on PC. That's just as good as Pro Tools and Logic and FL Studio and Ableton Live. OK, guys, so you guys should be able to actually hear my audio. OK, that's how you would set it up to where you can actually hear the audio from YouTube. Now, 
The next important thing that's going to be super important is obviously you guys working this out of your DAW. So whatever your DAW is, open up your DAW. And when you go to your DAW, all you need to do is I'm working in Logic Pro X right now. What you want to do is just go ahead and go to preferences. You want to go down to audio. And you want to make sure that the output device and the input device is going through your ground control to channel. Okay. As you can see, there's a pattern here. Everything is going to be passed through this. So now once you do that, you just go ahead and hit apply. And once I hit apply, he play with your mind. He played with your heart. Okay, so as you guys can hear, it's actually playing through my Logic Pro X, and you guys should be able to hear it. Now, when I play this here, as you can see, it was actually picking up the audio from the OBS. Now, it looked like it was clipping and stuff, right? But this is one thing that I noticed inside of OBS. Uh, I tried to turn it all the way down some to where it wasn't clipping. And then when I did a video, the audio was too low. And I was just like, dang, that really sucks that I wasted a whole video. And I didn't want to do that. So you can just leave it as it is uh, and not stress about it too much. I think audio wise, it'll sound great and be good to go. But guys, that's pretty much it. I definitely recommend that you guys utilize this because it's a simple process. I didn't have to go into, you know, none of the, um, the other setups that you would normally do um the audio setups and try to uh wire different channels and root things together or whatever the case may be i didn't have to do any of that so it's something that i definitely recommend that you guys utilize because it's super simple and easy okay all right guys so that was pretty much it for the video if you enjoyed the video go ahead and give me a thumbs up leave me some comments let me know what you think guys i truly appreciate you guys watching my video and i truly appreciate you guys supporting me while I've been sick in the process, thank you for hearing me out. Thank you for understanding. I've really been trying to knock videos out for you guys. Guys, as far as ground control, I definitely recommend that you guys get it. Ground control cube is awesome. It's powerful. It's easy to utilize. I mean, this tutorial should have walked you through the entire process. It's so easy to utilize. So guys, definitely go download it. It's free. Um, if there's anything that you can do to support the company, go support them. I'm not getting anything uh, out of it. I'm just trying to help you guys out because you guys support me. And that's why I made this channel to help you guys out in general. So, guys, that's it for this video. If you want to see more tutorials on this stuff or in logic or mixing, mastering, photography, graphics, you name it, guys, you know that I'm here to help you grow your business and be successful in anything that you plan on doing. As long as you work hard and stay motivated, guys. As always, stay tuned for the next video.